everyone. Brad Smith here with HealthLink, and I am connecting health experts worldwide. Um, I'm pleased to be here with Rick Copley. How are you today, Rick? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me. I, I really appreciate it. Well, yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And I'm looking forward to hearing more about you and the Fit Life podcast. So you started the Fit Life podcast. You know, give me a quick rundown exactly as short as you can what the Fit Life podcast is. Well, the Fit Life podcast really is a way for, for me to kind of reach out and help people, really. Our, our two biggest goals are, number one, to help people get inspired and get on that Fit Life journey just to, for getting results, whether it's weight loss, muscle gain, wherever people's results are, but want to get people on that journey. And the second part of that is really keeping them there. So just give people motivation, tools, stories, just get a little entertainment here and there. But really want to, the goal really is just to help people. The goal is to help people to get fit, live better, feel better, and to be able to give back more and just to have have more, uh, have a better life. And that's really our goal. And so that's really what we've been trying to do with, with, with the podcast for the last, the last year now. Okay, cool. You know, I'm excited to dive into that, but I always like to ask what your backstory is. You know, we all have unique stories on how we got started in the health and fitness industry. You know, what's your unique story and how did you get started in the helping others with their health? Oh, gosh, I have been in health and fitness since April 22nd, 1973, which is actually my birthday. You know the uh, day, always, you know the day. I, you know, when I third grade, I can remember setting the school record for pull-ups and I just got so inspired by, by exercise and fitness. And there was no point in my life where I ever went away from health and fitness. I was an athlete. I was a distance runner in college, a major in sport management, just always got kind of pushed towards health and fitness. Eventually I found uh, personal training. So I became a personal trainer. I've owned a couple of gyms. I also uh, was a wellness director at YMCA. Currently, I work or I own a gym in Barry's, Florida, and we help people get results. And the podcast really was started just as a way to kind of broaden the audience and try to look for more people. Obviously, it's great helping people in person that come to our gym and show up. But the podcast has really been a great way to kind of just reach out. And, you know, honestly say it's kind of like a passion project for me. I've always kind of wanted to just get messages out, kind of. The organization is not great in there. In other words, it's not like organized like a lot of these podcasts are. But you know what? I get thoughts in my mind and I record them and I get them out and hopefully provide a lot of value for people. And gosh, you know, you kind of ask backstory. I am a health and fitness. Uh, I am in health and fitness. It is my life. Okay. I have another job. I don't do do weight tables on the side. I make my living in health and fitness. And, you know, I, I can absolutely say I 100% love it and I, and I enjoy the process of helping people and I enjoy the process of, of being in in health and fitness as a, an athlete as well and just being in that environment and I absolutely love it and, and I love the opportunity to maybe share maybe give some value to some of your listeners and watch oh yeah definitely you know thanks for sharing that story and we all have our unique stories which is cool to hear and then you know from our stories we're able to help even more people so you know you mentioned something about a have, having a gym here in Florida uh, mention real quick what you guys are doing over at the gym. Well, our gym is a, we call it a functional fitness gym. And it, it's kind of a hybrid between a couple things that people understand and know. Uh, it's almost like a boot camp style. Like a lot of people know what a boot camp is, where you're going to go and do push-ups and sit-ups and run and things like that. And it's kind of a little bit like CrossFit style, not a CrossFit gym. But we kind of kind of combine those two concepts. I have been doing functional fitness and, and workouts similar to the type of CrossFit thing they do long before CrossFit came along. I've been doing it a long right. time. So my method of fitness and wellness really just revolves around having fun and enjoying it. So a lot of times people, our members will say, hey, I came, you know, I come to your gym and I love it because I don't know what's going to happen. Right. They don't know what the workout's going to be. They don't, they're, they're kind of surprised. So. You know, I really, I mean, working out is great. Everybody's got their own thing they like to do, and I don't judge any of that. But I just don't, I don't see the appeal in going to the gym and doing the 20 minutes on the treadmill and the weightlifting routine, doing the same thing all the time. I want things to be different, and I want things to be fun and challenging. So our gym in, in, uh, in here in Florida is really, it is that. It's just, it's having fun. It's doing different stuff. It's, it's being a little competitive here and there. It's helping people to get the results they want to get. And everybody's different. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to gain muscle. But really just focus on enjoying the process. And, you know, and I've always said this, that 
fit, health and fitness isn't about losing those 10 pounds. It's not about getting those numbers down. It's not about those type of things you really can measure. Those are important, but it's really just about enjoying the process. It's about living a fit life. And that's kind of how the podcast evolved as well. It's like the Fit Life Podcast is really about living a fit life and enjoying the life we have because we have the energy, because we're, our body fat is low, we feel good, we look good, all those different things. It all kind of comes together. And the gym is really our in-person place to do that. And the podcast is more of a, you know, a expanded version, so to speak, is where you can listen uh, yep. on, online whenever you want. Or again, or you come to the gym if you're you're local to us, but most people aren't, so they have to, they have to listen. Yeah, you're about 45 minutes north of Orlando, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. About I always tell people 45 minutes north of Disney, so okay, so people understand that. <laughs> All right, so if you go to Disney, you have to go get a workout in with Rick. Absolutely, that's right. You can come up and you can get drop fee and come in, drop it. We don't have drop in fees at our gym. People can just <laughs> work out if they want to try it sometime. Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I like the switch over. So you have the successful gym, you're helping people out either one-on-one or in group classes, but now you want to reach even more people. So I think the podcast is a, a great way to reach you know more people. What was one of the um, challenges and the biggest struggle for you when you were trying to start your podcast? That's a great question. It, you know, for me, it was honestly just, just finally deciding to do it. And okay. I think that kind of goes well with a lot of people's journeys for a lot of different things. Oftentimes when people want to get fit or get healthy, they, they want to do it, right? They kind of tell people, I need to lose weight or whatever, but they just don't take the action, right? And sometimes they don't realize that just simply by moving, just taking the action, the yeah. process will happen. They lean into it and results will come and they'll feel better. And the, the process that they're dreading actually isn't that bad. So for me, it's like, hey, I want to do a podcast. But for a long time, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do that next month or whatever, wait till I have more money, you know, whatever it is. And yeah. so finally one day I said, hey, let's figure out how to do this. Let's start. And I realized it's pretty simple, free and expensive. And I just just started doing it. And, and it's been a great journey. It really has. It's been a lot of fun. And, and, and I think there's been – there have been a lot of people you – know, I get messages all the time. People say, hey, I listen to your podcast or, I, you know, I listen to this, this bit of a podcast or this one. And they've gotten value from it. And I, and I really appreciate that. And sometimes people I don't even know will sit, reach out to me and say, hey, I listened to that, and, and I learned something, right? Or I got results from that. So Perfect. And I absolutely love that feeling. Okay, so that's kind of your goal, just reaching out to even more people, providing value to them. You know, tell me a little bit about your journey along the way, some, uh, some people that you've really helped out, and uh, maybe their story, you know, um, whether it's unique or something that we've all heard. Tell me. I can tell you that um, – we have, I have a couple different uh, businesses. I own, you know, I own the gym. I also a, a distributor for a supplement company. So we help people there too. And th that, those type of things, I kind of, I don't want to say I promote on the podcast, but that's how we earn our living. So sometimes we talk about those and, and again, if you want to join those, they do. And they, they, we help coach them along the way. One of the people from that did our supplements said to me the other night, and this is a great story. I actually had never heard it before. She said this. She said she was at the playground with her three little kids, her and her husband, and okay. kids are running around, right? And one of the kids wanted to go down the slide. I said, Mommy, Mommy, come down the slide with me. And she said, and this is what her thought was when the kid, when her, when her child, her little child, who was two, said, hey, come down the slide, two or three, I believe, come down the slide with me. And her thought was, I don't know if I'm going to fit down the slide. Okay. She got to work, and as she, she, we kind of coached her out, helped her out a little bit, and she lost 70 pounds. And now wow. she's, she's fit. She's healthy. She's running around like crazy. She's teaching a fitness class at wow. that local gym. So, God, wow. there are just – there are so many people like that along the way. Another, another lady, real quick, I'll tell you about who's a, a, actually a – she's a lady. She's a young lady, uh, 17 years old, high school senior, um, just wasn't feeling great about herself. She came to our gym, joined okay. in gym and lost lost a little bit of weight not a lot but what she did was gain some muscle and gain some strength and she's got a before and after picture which is amazing so now yeah. she's entering adulthood living a fit life yeah right but not just not just losing a little bit of weight but now she's at that crossroads age which a lot of us go through 17 18 19 years old either we're gonna be healthy right or not <laughs> you know we're gonna gonna be sedentary and she has developed a fit life habit so we okay. feel good about the results like that. People, sometimes they're measurable, 70 pounds lost. Sometimes they're not as measurable, but 
what happens in here is very, very important. And, and it's really, it's really a blessing to be able to help people like that. It really well, that, That's my next question is how does that make you feel when you help someone like that? It's a dream come true. I mean, it's really, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to, to kind of live the life that, that we're able to live. You know, my wife, Teresa and I, we, we help people along the way. Uh, it's, I can tell you that the hardest part of what I do is the people that quit along the way. Cause we have those as well, right. but for every person that does that, there's someone else out there that's feeling great. That's saying, saying that we impacted their lives or that we help them and we help them to learn and, and, and grow as people or, you know, grow as a person, lose, lose, lose weight. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it really is. It really has been remarkable, a remarkable journey, and continues to be. And really, that's that's why we do what we do in terms of, and that's why I did the podcast because I wanted to be able to, again, reach out to kind of different people in a different way. And so, you know, I do Facebook Live sometimes too, where I again provide value. I provide value. I probably spend an hour of my day just providing free value, for right? And hoping, hoping to get people to kind of make that step in the right direction to help them. Again, whatever their goals are, whatever their their vision is for themselves, that's better. And we try to do that. And we and we try to teach people. We try to teach people how to eat right. We try to motivate people to get out the door to exercise, or give them a better strategy. We just try to do a lot of things. But still, the full realm of health. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, yeah, it makes me feel great. And, and yeah. the best parts of my day, the absolute best parts of my day, is when I do get that positive feedback for someone that says, "Hey." I did this and this is how I feel. And that just, I mean, it warms my heart. It really is great. Yeah. I can tell that you're definitely passionate about it. Definitely passionate when you do help people. I know it motivates you even more when you see their success and their feedback. So I think that's incredible. Now um, taking that first that step was hard for you starting the podcast. You had to take that first leap. Um, what do you suggest somebody that needs to take that first leap into health? That's, that's a great question. That's, that's the key question hard one right because it's the hardest one yep once you get that motion going usually good things happen right. and my suggestion and i actually ask the same question to people when i interview people on my podcast and my answer would would be kind of make it simple just do something do right. something yep. and what happens is that when once you start doing something you start doing more of something and that yep. that's the really really the key the other thing i like to have people do is you not only take action physically move, but really decide what their why is, right? Okay. Yep. So I had a conversation with someone recently about uh, getting, you know, I say, what do you want to do? What, you know, why do you want to get healthy? She said, well, I want to, I want to look good walking down with, to get my diploma or before she was taken. And I said, that's cool. But wait a minute, how old are your kids? And she told me, I said, don't you want to be, feel good about setting a good example for your kids? And she's like, well, yeah, that that's actually true. So we need to, I, I encourage people to find something bigger than simply the losing the 10 pounds. Okay. Find something bigger than simply fitting into that bikini, right? Or, you know, or running a 5K. Find something bigger and more important. And so once you define a why that's really, really big, the how fills in. So from a physical standpoint, motion, just get into motion. That's what I said, just get into motion. And as they do that, I encourage them to find the why why they want to feel fit, what's going to happen when they are fit and all that. Once, once you start that, once that mindset gets involved, then they're, you're unstoppable. So find the why, which is actually big. It's a big picture and a big step, but start with small steps to work your way towards that big why. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Fit Life Podcast, um, it's on what networks and also on a website. Tell me a little bit about if someone wants to join or subscribe, how can they find you and uh, get, get listening right away? They can, uh, we're on iTunes, Fit Life Podcast. I, I, I also, whenever I do a podcast, which is probably three or four times a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, but I do, I definitely am on there several times a week. I post it on Facebook first, and that's probably the best way to kind of, it's kind of a consolidation of everything, but we have a Facebook page, the Fit Life Podcast. I would suggest people just like that page. That way, but we also have a website, therickcopley.com. All the stuff that I have going on is on that website. It's the rickcopley.com. And on the website, there's a button that says start here. And that gives the best, best of the best, so to speak, podcast episodes to get people dialed in uh, with the most valuable content we have. We have an episode on how to eat, how to lose weight, uh, how to build a, that summer body, the important things, right? Yep. <laughs> but there's, that's all in there. The big wise. Start here button. So yeah, the rickcopley.com. 
That's okay, and we'll we'll post all those in the links under the show too. So if anyone wants to just click on the links under the show, you can uh, check them out. Uh, join the podcast so you can listen and subscribe. And also the Facebook page. It sounds like it's probably going to be the best way to start. And then you kind of walk them through finding that why, and then helping them with results by providing value. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Rick, I appreciate you uh, joining us for the interview, and we're looking forward to seeing the great things and all the people you help along the way. You are very welcome. It's been my honor and pleasure to be here. Have a good day, guys.